Castlevania II, Simon's Quest. Imagine a huge world filled with tons of inventory and magic spells. Now add Dracula's body, cut into little pieces, and you've got Castlevania II. Be sure to make a map. You'll need money, that's the little hearts, to buy stuff. You can go to the woods and kill monsters, or wait until night. Then you can kill the ghouls in the village. In every village there's a signpost. Stop and read it. Go to the top of these stairs and you'll have plenty of ghouls to kill for hearts. Going into the church restores your energy. After you buy the Thorn Whip, White Crystal, and Holy Water, leave by the right side, to the Jova Woods. Take the top path into the Vero's Woods. Go to Berkeley Mansion. To move up, put the arrow next to the crystal, and you'll create an elevator. As you walk, throw Holy Water on the floor to find pitfalls. To get through a wall, see if holy water crumbles it. When you find the rib, use the stake and press the B button to get it. Go back to the turning point in Viros Woods and go down. Go to the town of Viros. Buy the dagger and use the holy water to get to the chain whip. Here's another signpost. Leave by the right side. Go to Dabby's path and break through the wall and get the sacred flame. Leave the village to your right and take the upper path through Ajiba Woods. When you get to Ajiba, buy garlic and laurels. You'll have to go through the floor to buy garlic. Here's an important hint. Go to the top of the village and get your crystal upgraded by the man in the gray suit. Leave Ajiba to the right. Go to the cemetery and leave your garlic. A man will appear and give you a knife. Leave and go to the Ajiba woods. Take the lower path. When you get to the end, Take the blue crystal and kneel. Now go to the right and down. This is Rover Mansion. Follow the same routine as Berkeley Mansion. Get a stake, then get Dracula's heart. After you get Dracula's heart, go all the way back to Jova. Walk straight through Jova, out to your left, to the Belasco Marsh. To get through this puddle, use the laurel. It'll make you invincible. Use the heart and the arrow to get a boat. Here is Brahms Mansion. Use the same tricks as before. Use the holy water to get a new clue. You must kill the god of death. Don't leave the room or you'll have to start over.
jump when the blocks go up. Get the diamond. Take the boat across the river. Then take the boat back and go left. Now you can get to Alder. Wait until day, then... Make sure you take the correct turning point. Get to Storyguri Cemetery and use the garlic again. Take the top path to Andal. Buy a morning star and leave from the left. When you get to the end, use your red crystal and kneel. A tornado will come and get you. And it is up to you to get to the end and kill Dracula. <laughs> Thank you.